Hello, I'm Al. Welcome back to Al's Vinyl Collection. I say welcome back and it has literally been six months since I uploaded a video, so... Hello. What's going on? Um, <laughs> sorry. I don't know where I went. I don't know what... Life just happened. Life, life, life. Do you know what I mean? I have been missing doing these videos for, for a long, long time and I wanted to get back into it and I wanted to listen to some more Rush. Um, I just had a, a hankering. I've been listening to, to, to more music like Rush recently at work, and I thought, I want to listen to Rush. And if I'm going to listen to Rush, I might as well listen to the songs that the brilliant Rush fans have suggested to me on YouTube, and I might as well share my, my thoughts. So, I'm going to be listening. I, I, I've seen a lot of uh, suggestions for a lot of different songs. This one just reached out to me. I don't know. Um, this this song is called Jacob's Ladder. I saw it in the comments, and it was described as almost a classical piece. And I don't know why that just kind of spoke to me, but I thought I gravitated towards it. I thought I want to listen to this one. Um, and just very quickly, uh, the way I structure these will change. I saw a very um, a very nice and and a very well written comment. I think it was on a Pink Floyd video. And I was talking about uh, trying not to be too analytical. And someone said, basically, we know the music. We know what it means. We want to see someone react to it. We want to see someone enjoy it for the first time. And that is so true. So I'm going to try and stop the whole philosophical BS at the end and just give you my thoughts and, and just react to it. Um, there's no headphones. I'm listening before because I know some people will go crazy over this. I'm listening on a pair of matched Yamaha HS7s. Um, I've said before that I'm a sound engineering student. Don't worry. The sound setup in this room is brilliant. I promise. Um, let's just get into the music. This is Jacob's Ladder. I will periodically pause it. Uh, just to, to talk about it. As I'm using speakers, I don't want to talk through it because you'll be able to hear the sound coming through the microphone. But yeah. anymore i can't i know i don't want to interrupt a solo but i can't wait that was so mm, that was so that was so good that was so good i i love alex lifeson's guitar it, that just escalated and escalated and escalated i know but i, I did that the pinch the little the little pinch was just so you know what i mean 
<laughs> you know what? You know when it when it, when a solo gets you feeling that you know when a solo kind of makes you like it gets really kind of riled up in a good way. That's so. That's so great. I, I'm loving this. I mean, I I thought this was gonna be a slower song, and the production as well. The the soundscape is incredible. I love Getty's vocals. I, I know I said this in every Rush video, but I love Getty's vocals. I love where they sit in the mix as well. I really I really really like that. Um, and the kind of the the elements they're added in, and how the panning was. If we if we look, think about panning as as almost a 360 degree circle, um. The I'm gonna so this obviously this is the center. So the song was pretty much in this range, and and then I don't know around the forty second mark it just widens in the best possible way. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it.
very quickly, what I um, am enjoying about this song is there are this there are now two. So there, there was this section, and then it was just uh, before the "All at Once the Clouds Are Parted" section. Before that little that little verse there, they sound that the, the these these um, these riffs they are just playing these these riffs are just repeating for quite sustained periods of time, but every time they go around the riff something new is added so before it would before the all at once the clouds are parted um before that line before that verse that little instrumental section there and it's with the synths every time there was something new layering whether it was kind of you know quite far in the right in the right in the right side uh in 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 the right side of the stereo field or if it was in the left or if it was kind of you know just just a, just a synth evolving um it it was you know it it sounds it sounds amazing i love it i love that there is never the same thing happening at the at, at once you know that they, they 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 could i i guess some people could dislike that uh, these instrumental sections are just essentially the same riff over and over and over but they aren't just repeating they are adding they are layering and i love that i love this uh, idea that no one musical idea is playing for a sustained period of time there is always something new being added to the song i probably worded that really badly but i hope you know what i mean um yeah i'm i'm i mean i'm 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 loving it i've got some comments at the end but <laughs> Let's talk about that very quickly. I loved it. I think I really hope that showed. That really got me excited. Um, not many songs do these days, but that really got me excited. I love with Rush that their songs just change so much as as the song goes on. The song just it reminded me almost of the Spirit of the Radio, where it just it just changes. It's like you're listening to four different songs put into one, and I love that so much. Not enough people uh, utilize that kind of songwriting. I think it's amazing. Um, I think the instrumentals are great. I loved at the starts with the kind of the lyrics, like almost like it, it felt like a march to war. You know, when the drums came in, and it felt very much like a almost like a marching band. Um, it, it 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 fit the theme of the lyrics a lot. And I mean, there's just the like the solos, the guitar solos are amazing. The synth, I love the synth sounds they have. Um, my my most recent time at uni, we had to, it was advanced sound design, so we were building our own our own synthesizers, and it it takes doing something like that to appreciate a, a synth tone like like the tones we just heard, um, that that Rush have achieved. I think it was an amazing song. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love Rush because they just. They kind of just blow you away in the best possible way. 
you know there is there is never one thing in a rush song that's the same there's never a point where it's boring something always happens something always adapts and evolves the lyrics always great Geddy Lee's a vocal powerhouse Alex Lifeson is just an incredible guitarist I think yeah I love it I love it. I need to listen to more Rush. Um, so now the channel's kind of back up and running. Please, please do suggest uh, more Rush songs um, that I can listen to. I, I I know there are a few, but I've kind of lost track of them as time time's gone on. Um, and I would love to I would love to listen to more. So please, please, please do suggest me some some more Rush songs. Uh, it gets me excited. Thank you so much for watching this. Thank you so much for giving me your time, and thank you for letting me listen to the music that you love. It's a great honor to be able to share that with, with so many of you. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you very shortly. Take care of yourselves.